I keep and uh, I'm working in the automotive industry for the last six years. Uh, you can read more about my professional career in my LinkedIn profile attached to this video. I welcome all of you to basic Yocto project training video series. In this training, we will talk about open source Yocto project. Our target audience are the people who have some basic knowledge of Linux distributions, people who know how to run and execute commands in Linux, and the people who are interested in learning new technologies. So if you don't know yet about Yocto, but wants to learn about it, then you are at the correct place. Our training agenda will be following. First, there will be a brief introduction about Yocto project, how Yocto project was started, where Yocto project is currently used, and what are the benefits of using it. Uh, then we will look what is Yocto, uh, what is Yocto in Pocky, what is the role of Bitpick in Yocto project. At the end, we will write a small Yocto recipe. If you want us to add anything else, please write your comments below so we can add that in our next videos. Uh, we will definitely uh, go through your feedbacks. So let's dive in. As some of you have already heard this line, the Yocto project is not an embedded Linux distribution. It creates the custom one for you. And if you have not heard this line before, then now you just heard it. It's simple as that. Uh, Yocto project is an open source collaboration project that helps developers from around the world create custom Linux based systems, regardless of the hardware architecture. It provides a flexible set of tools and a space where embedded developers can share technologies, software stacks, and configuration that can be used to create tailored Linux images for creating embedded for IoT devices. You can build tool chains, bootloaders, kernels, and file system with it. If you want, then you can also generate an entire Linux distribution containing binary packages. First, a bit of history. Uh, Yocto project was started from Open Embedded, uh, also known as OE, in 2003. Uh, in 2005, a fork of Open Embedded was created, and this version was called Pocky. In 2010, Open Embedded and Pokey combines into a new project called Open Embedded Core, OE Core, and Yocto project was officially started. So what is it? As I said earlier, the Yocto project is a set of templates, tools, and methods that allows to build custom embedded Linux-based systems, independent of the hardware architecture. You can argue that it is similar to GNU Make because it is also compiling stuff for you. Uh, but there is a difference. Uh, we will see that in our later videos. So the main components of the Yocto is Bitpick and Metadata. Uh, we will talk about all components in detail later. Right now, we will just give you overview. Bitpick is a task executor, scheduler, and metadata consists of recipes, configuration, and include files. Uh, you will have a question in your mind, why would I use Yocto project, right? Okay, I have an answer for you because it is an open source Yocto project, so anybody can download from their official website. It is widely adopted throughout the embedded IoT industry. Many SOX vendors provide PSPs for their device appropriate for Yocto project. Uh, next question will be why everyone is using it because of its architecture independence and customization capabilities. You can write Yocto recipes which are architecture independent and you can easily customize it. We will go through in details in our later videos. It has also other advantages like it has uh, in layer infrastructure that make it is very easily maintained. It has also a very big ecosystem, which includes also tool chains and software development kits. We'll go all these things later. 
So just a recap, what have we learned until now? Uh, we have learned about what is Yocto, its brief history and the main components of Yocto, advantages of Yocto and why it is used widely by everyone, right? What will be in the next video? In our next video, we will go through more in detail of different components of Yocto, how they are working and how we can use them. And we will also see what's the difference between a recipe and a layer. So I am hopeful that I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.